Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and I have yet another re-signing I want to talk about with all of you guys, and it is the re-signing of cornerback Devontae Harris. Again, another move I'm sure a lot of people are very meh about, but I still think that it is a solid, valuable move to bring back another player that was on this team from last season, simply due to the fact that it is going to continue to keep solid depth there. I think whenever Devontae Harris did play last year, I saw a lot of comments, and just based on my own personal experience watching the games, I think that Devontae Harris did some pretty decent things for this team, and I've been hearing some Bucks fans talk about how they wanted to have Devontae Harris back, and they figured that with this new coaching staff he could do a pretty good job he's still relatively young I believe mid 20s is his age right now so he still has a couple of good years left in him so they brought him back for a one-year deal and at the absolute worst he's a valuable depth piece and he could have some future role uh you know being maybe a fringe starter somewhere down the line we're just gonna have to wait and see but I'm very happy about this move because it just continues to keep that depth strong depth is a big big thing for me in terms of an overall team if you don't have good depth I don't think you're going to be a very good team overall because that next man up mentality is very important especially given all the injuries that the Buccaneers have had at the cornerback position the past couple of years bringing back a guy like Devontae Harris is a really good move in my opinion right now as it stands the Buccaneers are pretty much a void of cornerbacks after the move of MJ Stewart getting moved to safety you now do not have a lot of cornerbacks on this team I believe you have Vernon Hargraves Carlton Davis Devontae Harris and David Rivers I'm, I know I'm forgetting a cornerback or two in there but the Buccaneers have lost a lot of cornerbacks in their own right because MJ Stewart he's getting moved to safety I know it's not exactly a transactional type of move but he is no longer a cornerback for this team JB and Elliott I believe went into free agency as well as Brent Grimes so you're missing a lot of cornerbacks who did some pretty decent things for you last year and actually had some starter snaps in some capacity last year especially in the case of Brent Grime. He's our former number one cornerback. So the Buccaneers should go out and make a couple more moves at the cornerback position. I know a lot of people have been saying, James, why aren't we signing a cornerback yet? James, why aren't we signing a cornerback yet? I'm getting concerned, but I wouldn't be too worried about it. There's still plenty of cornerback talent out there. My personal pick is still out there, Brashad Breeland. So the Buccaneers could look into him, but they do need to make a move here probably in the next couple of days to bring in a veteran cornerback just to continue to build up that depth. But I do feel that the re-signing Devontae Harris is a very good move to get more valuable cornerbacks and more guys who can continue to do good things for this team in that cornerback room. But guys, let me know what you think about this re-signing of Devontae Harris down in the comments section below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Me personally, I thought he did some good things for the team last year, and I do think he will be a con solid contributor on cornerback, on defense, and on special teams as well. But I do think they could also afford to bring in another cornerback or two. Brashad Breland's still out there. He He's my guy. EJ Gaines is still out there. He's another one of my guys, or maybe they could trade for a cornerback as well. You know, it's just another one of those things that we're just gonna have to wait and see. But let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And I have one more video I'm probably gonna make for you guys. Um, we'll just have to wait and see if I, uh, you know, how, how I get around to it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.